Now we're looking at the guided practice for areas of circles and sectors. So our first one, we want to find the circumference of circle P in which the area equals 36 pi inches squared in terms of pi. So remember that the formula for area circumference is 2 pi r. And we have our area of our circle. So remember the formula for area of a circle is pi r squared. So we're going to plug that 36 pi in equals pi r squared. Remember that the pi's cancel each other out. So we have 36 equaling r squared. And the square root of 36 is 6. So our radius is 6. Now we can go ahead and plug it into our circumference. So our circumference 2 times pi times our radius of 6. And remember, we want it in terms of pi. So we're going to multiply everything that's not pi. So 2 times 6 which is 12, and then bring down your pi. And your units are inches. So your circumference equals 12 pi inches. Now, for those of you who are on a computer, um, if you can't copy the pi symbol from somewhere, go ahead and put 12, and then put pi, space, and then inches. Number two, we want to find the area of circle A in which C equals 24 pi in terms of pi. So again, area of a circle is pi r squared. Circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. This time we're starting with our circumference. So we're going to plug 24 pi in, set it equal to 2 pi r. Again, remember the pi's cancel out. So we can divide by 2 and r equals 12. So our radius is 12. Now we need to find our area of our circle. So pi 12 squared and 12 squared is 144. Bring down your pi inches squared because it's area. So if you're typing that in a, cal in a computer, you'd have 144 pi. If you can't copy that pi symbol from somewhere, I in the caret symbol and two. Number three, find the area of circle K in terms of pi. So again, remember that the area is pi r squared. We don't have our radius, we have our diameter. So we need to divide that's 6 by 2 to get our radius, and that gets us 3 for our radius. So we'd have pi 3 squared, and 3 squared is 9. Bring down your pi, so 9 pi inches squared. Again, if you're typing it in your computer, 9 pi for pi inches. The caret symbol, which is above the 6 on a standard computer, over Two. Our next problem, we are looking for the area of a sector, and it's that shaded region in terms of pi. So remember, it's our angle measure over 360. So 90 over 360 times area, which is pi r squared, so pi 6 squared. 90 over 360 reduces to 1 fourth times pi. 6 squared is 36. And 36 divided by 4 is 9. So we have 9 pi meters squared. Again, if you're typing this in a computer, so we'd have 9 pi pi m for meters, the caret symbol, and 2.
Number five, the beam from a lighthouse is visible for a distance of three miles. In terms of pi, what is the area covered by beam as the arc, as it sweeps in an arc of 150 degrees? So we're doing the same thing we did on the last problem. It's the measure of your angle over 360 times the area of a circle, pi r squared. So our angle is 150 over 360 times pi, and our radius is three squared. So 150 divided by 360 is 5 twelfths. times pi and three squared is nine. And five twelfths times nine is 15 fourths. Pi and miles squared. So if you're typing that in on a computer, 15 divided by 4, pi is pi, miles mi, carat symbol squared with a 2. And the last one on the guided practice, we want to find the length of arc PQ given the, and give your answer in terms of pi. So, this one, it's similar to what we just did, but instead of formula for area, it's a formula for circumference. So measure of our angle, 120 over 360 times two pi on our radius is nine. So 120 over 360 reduces to one third and two times nine is 18 and 18 divided by three is six. So we've got six pi meters. So again, I do highly recommend writing down your formula for area and circumference, whichever one you need, or for area of a sector or area, of, um, or sorry, not area, arc length as you need it.